All right, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Harbor Freight 4x6 bandsaw or metal cutting bandsaw. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to be taking a, I'm not going to be doing my review on this, but I have another video in mind. So these things come with a mounting plate to do, um, well, you could do vertical and horizontal cutting on this. So it comes with a plate so you can use this machine. I mean, if you want to do it by hand, you can do that or you can... You know, you can use the uh, clamp style there if you're just cutting like square round material. But anyways, um, I am going to be building a different plate for this. This is the one that comes with the machine. And it's really flimsy. It's not all that great. I mean, for small hand work, it's all right. But I'm trying to actually cut some thicker metal on this thing. And I'm going to be utilizing some rollers. So... Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I modified my own little uh, tabletop that goes on this thing. So, I'm going to be using this piece of aluminum. I mean, it's pretty thick, half inch. Uh, six by six sides. I mean, it's a 12 inch altogether. But, um, I mean, it's much smaller than this, but it's a lot stiffer too. So, uh, I am going to have to use this old one to do my... Uh, to do my punches and just trace out and stuff but uh i'm gonna do this a lot of it on the milling machine and in order to save time you know i'm just going to cut this off camera the aluminum and then i'm going to pretty much just stencil that i guess <laughs> use this as my stencil i do have some transfer punches that i'll be um, using for the holes and then the rest i don't know if i'll cut that square or not but i'll cut the notch for sure and uh well I better get to work and let's see what I come up with. All right, guys. So I kind of made a boo-boo on this one. I ended up having to make another one, but this is pretty much what I was going for. And, uh, well, I mean, this one looks all right, but I just went off too much to one side. And the thing isn't, like, even on the other side. So uh, the top part it is, and I would have loved to have this, actually, because I could have, like, flipped it. Uh, back and forth depending on what type of material I was cutting, but um, Yeah, so I ended up cutting another piece and this is my finished product right there so So you can see I've already tested it. I've been playing with it and uh, You know, I just I use some longer screws tapered screws that go on here and this thing is solid All right, guys, so this is the result of the uh, 4x4 tubing that I was cutting. Uh, it came out pretty nice. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, it came out pretty even. Uh, I really don't need to be, like, perfectly even on these anyways, but it did the job what I wanted. Um, I could actually got it way more even um, had I tuned the blade. It's not really even tuned, but it was good enough to get a nice cut along the long side of this uh, material here. So, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. And um, this is going to be used for my CNC milling machine. So, uh, yeah, I'm really satisfied with that cut. Um, next thing is I'll probably cut some more aluminum. Uh, that, that machine does a really good job of, of doing aluminum. And just to show you guys really quick on this bandsaw, what I did to use as an edge guide was some uh, plates that I got over there. So those aluminum plates, I just uh, put them down here with some C-clamps. But I also have um, a clamp or edge guide or an edge cutting guide from Harbor Freight. So you can actually use this, which is pretty cool too. The only thing is it, it's kind of long, so I actually have to trim this down to size. I'm going to buy another one, so I'll be able to do uh, just some small pieces or whatever. Too bad I can't angle it, but I, I have another idea for that but that'll probably be on another video 
anyways guys i want to thank you for watching this video i hope this gives you guys some ideas if you want to modify your bandsaw and uh that's it for the video thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one